Welcome, welcome, everybody. We got another question here. This one also comes from Facebook. I just love these. Thanks for sending them along. It says, uh, smoking cessation, what are the best tools, techniques, resources, tips, and tricks? <laughs> I want to learn about it all. I'm doing it already, but I want to know everything there is to know. Okay. Wow, that's cool. That's really cool. That's actually, uh, as a practitioner, that's my niche. And I, I, uh, <clears throat> okay, so, uh, I think this is a I think this is a really valuable pursuit in some ways. I, I would say um, where I want to draw a distinction is there's like an endless amount of techniques, ticks, trips. To, I can't I can't say all that again, right? Uh, <laughs> the alliteration's getting me. But I think at the end of the day, like when you take a step back and you look at like actually what takes place in each one of these uh, techniques, they all look oddly similar right like if you were uh you know an alien out in space and you were watching a bunch of different hypnotists do you know, different protocols you would say hey they're basically doing the same thing with minor variation you know uh so i think that uh keep keep that in mind because i think if you were to study every single one of these things on the planet and master them, who knows how long that would take uh, ultimately, I don't know that that's going to move the needle significantly for you or for your clients. Because um, I don't think that's the real path to mastery. I think ultimately what you want to be able to do is, is work very quickly with folks. And to do that, uh, another thing we have to realize here is that if we're the alien again, this is a fun metaphor. Uh, <laughs> it's like you're, uh, you're going to notice that Okay, everyone's kind of talking about the symptom too, right? They're all kind of talking about the cigarette, the smoking, and they're talking about like relaxing and all these things. But the, really, the, when the problem is in the unconscious mind, you haven't even really discovered it yet. So ultimately, what you you, you want to do is learn how to um, uncover and explore that with your client. And when you uncover the real problem, you can solve it. And when you solve it, the person gets choice back. So that that's that's a, that's a uh, I would suggest that as a as an alternative course of action from learning a bunch of um, variations of the same type of thing. Now, now, I would never say don't pursue that learning, um, but I think where I get a little bit worried or apprehensive about uh, folks in our communities, I think they're learning those things sometimes out of a, a state of desperation or like when I finally learn this protocol, then I'll be ready to go make an impact on humanity. And I think that's, it's different from, hey, I'm on the path to mastery. I know how to uh, work with someone's unconscious mind. I feel very comfortable doing that. And I can kind of, you know, I, I can work in that way. But I'm interested in exploring more. That, that's a, that's a, uh, from a position out of desperation, but one of aspiration and, and things like that, right? Uh, this, is, this is a much more pleasant place to be. So um, it's great that you're already doing the work. That makes me very happy. And I think wanting to learn everything you can about it is, is fantastic. And, but ultimately, you're going to learn the most from your clients, right? That's where you're going to learn all the little distinctions and nuances. You know, the way, the way I work with a smoker, I've, I've helped almost 500 quit. Um, the first 100, my goodness, it's totally different. And the way, what I'm hearing when they're speaking is completely different. There's just your mind just learns all these nuances to the thing. And, and of course, every single individual is different, so I can't even necessarily draw from that. Um, but you, you can draw some things, which is pretty cool. So um, I think this is, this is really where you wanna put your focus. Um, so just to kind of recap, uh, it's good to learn those things as long as it's not necessarily coming out of a state of desperation. Um, you know, the, I think, the path to mastery is going to be actually with that client interacting with them. Um, so you're doing that. That's great. Uh, learning tips, tricks, techniques, all that kinds of stuff. Um, good. Better is how can I learn how to actually solve the problem that's underneath the surface so I'm not dealing with the symptom, right? Because ultimately, you know, if we just resolve the problem at the symptom level, you know, something goes wrong in that person's life they don't they no longer have the resolve to really um, and they don't have the resources to necessarily be able to remain smoke free because ultimately it's going to come down to things like commitment it's going to come down to things like choice and taking responsibility for, for, for their actions right they're going to have to be able to do that 
um, and you can't do those things for them, right? So, so when we solve the real problem, those are the types of things that we I see manifest a lot with folks. So I hope this is helpful. Um, probably a slightly different response than what you're expecting, but I, you know, I'm, I think it's great that you're out there helping people and I, I can't wait to see, hear all about the impact you make. Take care, everybody.